I'm going to spoil the game, just the ending, and I have to spoil some of the bigger plot beats, but I think it's worth it if you're never going to play the game, because it's a really weird Star Wars thing, and if you have played the game, that's mostly who I'm talking to here, is people that have played Jedi Survivor, because if you're like me, you finish this game, and you went, what the hell just happened? What are we doing here? I wanted to talk to other people about it, but none of my friends had finished the game yet, so... I'm going to put this YouTube video out there, and anybody who has finished the game, now we can all talk about it. And yes, I know, it's been a couple weeks, and now everybody's talking about Zelda, we've all moved off of Survivor, but, you know, sometimes people want to take some time on a game, and hey, maybe you take your time, you do all the side quests and stuff like that, and you're just getting around to the ending, so this is perfect for you. Also, you may have noticed... The background is different, microphone's different, a lot of the setup stuff you can't see back there is different, uh, and the, the facial hair is a thing. Uh, I moved recently, I moved last week, and the last couple of weeks have been just putting things in boxes, taking things out of boxes, you know, moving stuff around, so that's why I haven't put out a video in a couple of weeks, and part of the move process was I didn't have my razor or my trimmer, and they were in a box, so then I just kind of went with it, and now this is what we got, you know, we're going to see, maybe this will be gone in a week and I'll be super embarrassed by it, but you know, we're, we're gonna let it ride. Let me know how you feel in the comments, but let's talk about Jedi Survivor, okay. So like I said, spoilers from here on out. If you've never played these games, they take place during the time where Darth Vader is going. So these, these movies or games take place in the Darth Vader era. I don't know exactly when they're supposed to, because they're still Inquisitors, so it's not quite Death Star time, uh, but we're definitely working our way up to that. And the Jedi, there's like factions of Jedi that are going around doing their own thing. There's some rebels that are kind of starting to form. You have Saw Gerrera in these. So I guess this is definitely before Death Star stuff because he's dead later um, in Rogue One. And uh, besides that, though, you know, Cal Kestis is a character who was a Padawan Jedi in training during Order 66. He got out and he's been living his life now the end of the second game the end of the first game He you know decides to go out and like kind of forge his own destiny And he's gonna try to help people and be a good guy and the first game is kind of in hiding So it's it's that kind of arc similar to kind of what Obi-Wan uh, Kenobi goes through in that show uh, But here is the, the thing about it. That's weird so you play through the whole second game, right? It's all about you and your friend, Bode. He's this guy. He has a jetpack and guns. He has a daughter. And he seems cool. And then two-thirds of the way through the movie... I keep saying movie. Game. He betrays you. He tries to kill you. But, I mean, he's not like... just doesn't really try to execute you. He's like, Cal, come help me. And Cal's like, no, you're bad. And then this guy also whips out a lightsaber, which we did not know he had or could use. And you're like, oh, crap. This guy's a Jedi. That's weird. And you get in a big fight with him. It seems like Cal dies, he doesn't die, but like he gets knocked out and he plays another character for a little bit. A lot of bad stuff happens, and Bode steals the remote control that gives us the passcodes to get to a planet called Tantalor, which is really hard to get to. It's like the end game for Cal and the people that are trying to restart the Jedi Order is like, oh, we'll go to Tantalor and just hide from the Empire until some guy kills them all, and then we can come back and we'll all be cool. It's, it's supposed to be like this little safe house planet, but Bode steals it. But not because he wants to let the Empire go there, because he wants to take his daughter there and hide from the Empire. He doesn't trust anybody. That's all fine. The Jedi reveal is interesting. I was actually like, oh, okay. And I did not think there was going to be anything in this game that surprised me. I thought I more or less got Bode and, and saw this twist coming, but not that part of the twist. So then Cal goes to the, I think it's called the ISS, the thing from uh, Andor that um, Mon Mothma is from. Uh, that the little nerd works for uh, the CIA of the Empire basically so they go to them Which is where Bode is living you get in this big fight uh, with a bunch of guys Bode escapes You get in this weird fight now. This is where it gets kind of strange There's lots of guys that are coming to get you and you get this prompt on screen It's like press L3 and R3. I play on PlayStation 5 uh, To activate your dark side or something now. I somebody who's played Star Wars games before I'm like no 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 game This is a trick I'm not supposed to do this, and this could send me down some sort of other path. In a game like this, I will usually do the good path, but I know some people will automatically go for the bad path, but I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to get, I don't want the game and like my friends in the game to be mad at me, so I'm not going to do it. As far as I know, you have to do this. So you do, and then you get this dark side power, and it's weird because uh, for the first two thirds of the game, the dark side is not a thing. Nobody cares about it. No characters are like, I'm worried about you, Cal, you're going a little close to the dark side. 
Uh, it's something we know exists, it's something Cal knows exists, but it's not something characters in this game are worried about. They got bigger problems. After you use the dark side power, you tell Marin about it, and it makes sense, because besides he, Bode stealing the Tantalor passcodes, he also killed some people you like, you know, caused some other people you like to get killed, so like you're really mad at him. And Marin, your girlfriend who's like a space wizard who knows stuff, space witch I guess is close to what she is, she's like, don't do dark side, Cal, it's bad. And you're like, okay. So you go meet Bode. He has confrontation with Bode on Tantalor. It's just you, Marin, Bode, and Bode's daughter, who's like a little maybe 10-year-old girl. Uh, and she's like drawing something on her own. And Cal's like, Bode, you gotta not be bad. And Bode's like, I'm gonna be bad, though. So you get in a fight. Marin takes the girl, not as like a hostage, but just protects her because things are falling down and stuff. You fight Bode twice. Uh, like you get through two phases of that boss fight. And then Bode knocks you down and starts, like, kicking you. And you're like, oh, no, I gotta do something. And what happens is those prompts come up again. Press, press L3 and R3 to activate your dark side. Now, we played the game. We just, five minutes ago, Marin told us not to do dark side stuff. So we're like, no. And you let it go. And then you die, which I, I was, like, really shocked. I was like, wait, that's not what's supposed to happen. But then this game has already done a fake out death, right? You're like, well, maybe that was, like, part of the story and... We're going to play it out again, but it'll be a little different. So we start the fight again, and it goes the same way. You get to that point. You don't press L3 and R3 because Marin told you not to. Then you die again. I did this three times before I was like, I guess I just have to do L3, R3. And when you do that, you do dark side powers, and then eventually you beat him. And that's it. It's, in, it's so half-baked. I don't understand why that mechanic was added to this game. Other Star Wars games have done the dark side, light side thing, and other lots of Star Wars materials done it, but it, it's very strange that this game almost decided like two-thirds of the way through, it's like, oh, we forgot to do dark side, light side. Have him make a choice to do dark side stuff, and then, you know, we'll make him do it, because we don't really want to really, really want to put too much effort into that, which is a shame, because they put a lot of effort into this game. I'm definitely not saying those guys are lazy or anything, but this one mechanic super half-baked. The other thing that's really weird is you, spoiler, mega spoiler, you kill Bode, and it's one of those deaths where you're like, Bo, don't be bad. I swear, just don't, and then you'll be fine. And he's like, no, I gotta be bad. So then you kill him. The daughter is there. Now this daughter, 10 years old, mom was killed by the Empire. Dad was just killed by me. Is like, oh, that stinks that dad is dead. I guess I'm your kid now. And you're like, yeah, that's what I want. I want to raise this child. That's where this character is in this story right now. And she just becomes the fourth member of your crew. It is, it, it was a baffling choice to me. And having her be a character for all the new, you know, stuff you do after that, where you do other missions, and she's just in the hub world, just standing around going, these are cool plants. You're like, dude, your dad just died after showing everybody that he's an evil Jedi. You don't care about any, I, I killed him. I know, like, it's, you know, clearly not really my fault, but like, you're a child. You shouldn't know that. It's it's a really it's a really weird thing. I imagine what this means is the next game will probably throw in a time jump, so Cal Kestis will start this next game maybe five years earlier, and she'll be fifteen or sixteen, and we'll be training her in the ways of the Force. And uh, not only do I not care for that as like a story beat, uh, I mean it could be fine, but I just think this this character and this whole thing is is very strange. Um, I think overall this game is pretty great. I think the lightsaber fighting mechanics are awesome planets are cool i like the cameos and 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 the characters all the little guys you meet turgle turgle's fantastic uh but man yeah there's there's that ending in that game was not good and uh and i also am not a humongous fan of the high republic stuff i don't know who those guys are and i don't have really strong connection to them so every time the game dipped into high republic stuff i was just like yeah i don't know that guy's cool i guess but it, it just it didn't quite connect with me the same way that the first one did the first one was a much simpler story, and I do think there's a lot of great stuff in this game that worked really well, but I just think the bowed turn at the end does not. It, 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 it's, it's very strange, and the dark side thing doesn't, doesn't really work. Uh, otherwise, though, solid game. Like a solid 7 out of 10. If you like Star Wars stuff, you're going to like this game. This was a review, apparently. I ended it with review stuff. I was really just like, I have to talk about why it's really weird that it acts that way. I want to do this about more games. I'm not a humongous game. Per like, I don't have a ton of time for games. Although now that Overwatch is bad, and it's always been bad, but it, it's gotten so much worse, I don't think I'm ever going to play that game again. 
So I don't know what my next game will be. I don't have a Switch, so it's not going to be Zelda. So you know, if you guys have any suggestions for games you want me to play and talk about, that's 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 a good idea. It could be fun. Besides that, you know, thank you for watching. Join the uh, Patreon. Doing the whiteboard live stream tomorrow, probably today when this video goes out, where we're going to talk probably about the CW verse, just like a retrospective on it, because it was always fascinating to me. I'm I'm excited to talk about it with you guys. Uh, and if you you know, join any of the Patreon tiers. You get to watch that live stream, be part of it. So it should be fun. So thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye.